270th episode of Comic Focus Weekly for the first week of September 2017. This episode is titled Project Appreciation. Comic Focus Weekly is brought to you by The Permissioner by Arcus. Mass assign and revoke Salesforce permission sets in classic and in lightning. <laughs> it truly is permission sets made easy. Available for free on the App Exchange or go to thepermissioner.com. I'm your host, Jason Atwood. Joining me, co-host, first time in September, 270 times in a row, Justin Edelstein. How you doing, Justin? Whoa. 270 in a row. 270. It's We're a big number. getting close to 300. We are. Not this year. Maybe next. Mm, yeah, maybe next year. Maybe. Cloud focus whenever. Cloud focus at least Episode monthly. Episode 300. The big one. It's definitely going to be next year. It's a big anniversary. If we time it right, we could probably have it land like at Dreamforce if it's in the That would be really pathetic of us. Why? 30 podcasts between now and Dreamforce 18. Think about it. We're doing 24 a year. 24 a year. Uh, we can do 10 for the rest of the but year. But we're weekly. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Speaking of weekly, Speaking. we have an agenda. Speaking of. So we lied. We said we were going to do winter, but as we were just discussing, which I wanted to bring on to the, uh, onto the pod, because, you know, we should be discussing this on pod, not off pod. I have not read the release notes yet. So I've taken, I mean, I've, I've seen little bits and pieces flying around. People are like, ooh, look at this, and ooh, look at this, and dynamic, you know, components and stuff. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. But I haven't read it. I've been dropping little right. things in our Slack channels. So we have a little bit to say about winter. We'll talk about that at the very end. But we'll talk about winter next week because I'll read it, and should start to get some, the blog should start to pump out some. It should. You would think it would. You would think it would. You'd think. Is this your whole I'm not the blog master thing? I am not the blog master. I control nothing about the content on the blog. And Should I go look at the blog agenda? You do what you want to do. And I'm, I'll just tell <laughs> someone to go write something about winter. Well, I was going to write something because no one else picked up to write like a quick reaction. So I was just going to go back and do that. Winter 18 for lightning. We know who's writing that. We know who's writing that. The lightning master. DLRS and then Dream Forces. Yeah, basically yeah, no Forces. one's doing winter. Yeah. Yeah. Arcus Q. There's no blog master anymore at Arcus, so, you know, people write what they want to write about, and apparently winter's not a thing. Yeah. How about winter? All right. We're going to get some winter. Oh, so maybe we do need a blog master. No. Well, I thought it'd be more of a, hey, there's a new release out. Maybe write about that instead people of People write whatever. about what they want to write about, you Speaking know? Speaking of writing about what they write about, <laughs> look at these two people just writing about look what they want to write. Look at these things. All right. So from last time, we have two... Uh, I think one was in total uh, reaction to your to your podcasting. My podcasting? Yeah, you you know you went semi neg, semi semi neg. It, it wasn't even. It was like a quarter, or not even. So professional writer slash project manager Sam S. See if you just say S, you don't say the last name. You can't mess it up. Sam Sappen. Uh, I'm a professional at saying James's last name now, by the what way. What is James's last name? Bougeau. Bougeau? Bougeau. Bougeau? Yeah. I sometimes call him Boudreau for fun. I just He's going to hate me for this. Bujold. Yeah, that's, that's his, not right at I all. Know. Well, it's not spelled. We'll see if he listens to this. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so Sam wrote uh, her not only part of because she was there, but part of because she was a huge part of the Midwest Dreamin' 17. She wrote uh, Midwest Appreciatin'. Right. Right. Not appreciation. Nope. But because she's the queen writer, the queen bee writer, we don't we don't go after her and say, what, why, what? I don't get it. There's a reason for that. What is the reason? No, there's a reason why we don't, like, if, if she wrote it, it's probably correct. Right, at this point, we just don't want to argue with her. Yeah, it's like, no, I'm not going to argue grammar going no. back to the 1700s or whatever with Samantha. So it's really her sort of thoughts on not only being a part of it, but also helping organize it. Um, she did. So, and talking about how the reasons she, you know, went to it was because they weren't, her company wasn't going to send her to Dreamforce. She's like, oh, I better go to this dreaming thing, which is closer, much closer. Um, but a good blog post, very like just you know sort of why she, why she got involved and what apparently happened. she danced around the house shouting excited excitedly. 
<laughs> that when when asked to help volunteer and join the planning team. That's great. Good for her. Yes. I, I We appreciate people who, you know, being part of the Salesforce community is not just answers and ideas and blogging and podcasting. This is the stuff that really takes, not that blogging and podcasting doesn't take a lot of time, but this is the stuff that takes time. I mean, I'd love to know how many hours she spent just in all of it probably hundreds of hours probably yeah tons. with all the planning of that event i mean not that it was all on her shoulders there was a large team of right. people all volunteers yeah uh so kudos to but all we did them. talk about midwest streaming last time yeah and but so I'll, I'll i'll go pause you're gonna go pause kudos to all those who made that event happen oh that's so sweet yeah After you went neg on it now you're gonna go pause on it i went neg on it just because i <laughs> that was my feelings about the actual event but i don't feel like i was super negative i just said i wouldn't necessarily does, go back does it surprise you at all that one of the the, the arcus lore the, the you know inner, inner hidden arcus secrets is that they can tell if you're having a bad mood on the podcast and that it they, bugs me a little and, and that I'm our gonna employees be very conscious and about our employees it. talk about it i'm gonna be very conscious about <laughs> it from now till the end of days till the end of cloud focus whenever and I'm hoping that they are realizing that today I'm in a good mood. I usually call you out when you're in a bad mood. <laughs> but here we go. So there's feedback taken, given, received, and resaid. Boom. That's a feedback loop. Just saying. Yeah, is there an acronym for that? Uh, you know, I'm so I'm so <laughs> close to <laughs> I'm so close to saying something bad, I can't do it. I don't really want to edit this podcast later. <laughs> so let's move Take on. Take it out and post. Let's take it out in post. Speaking of taking it out in post. <laughs> the worst. It's the best. It's so, it's so bad. It's, it's funny. It's so good. Right. Um, Moving right along. Speaking of not falling on the blog calendar, speaking yeah, of not writing about winter writing, 18. Not writing about winter 18 because didn't read release notes but this, or whatever. But this was, this is a... I, this of is my, a true moment of inspiration. This, I know this is my extra extra blog post. Like I think I'll do six or seven this year. To do six, or seven. six or seven. Remember when we used to have to do? Remember like, when we did fifty podcasts a year? Remember when we wrote like all the blog all posts? All the blog posts. We had to write all the. How many blog posts? Every other all one. All of the blog all posts. Of them. How many? All of them. All of them. The because, three of us wrote all because of them. all of them. Right. Now we don't write all of them. But maybe we'll get to the point where there's enough people where people can write about winter. Remember when there's a blog master and they told people like, hey, be aware of this thing and write about it. All right. Are you All trying right. to institute? Maybe we should, maybe it's not a blog master, which I don't like the real sound of it. Maybe well, it's I a, mean, that came from webmaster. A blog consigliere. A blog owner? <laughs> don't like it. Still sounds like master. Going to go with maybe a blog advisor. Hmm. A blog content architect. Mm. Ooh. The blog, con the BCA. The, the blog content <laughs> architect. He's the You're, BCA. You are the BCA. Oh, wait till we come up with our new titles. Oh, that gets approved. Um, all right, so. Not a huge fan of my new title. Do you want the other one? No, I really don't like that one. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I, I don't like that one for that person either. I mean, your current title really fits you as much as, you know. Sort of. BCA. I feel like I just want no title. Just founder. That's it. Co-founder. That's good enough. Right. Isn't fine. it? Doesn't no. that stand alone? There's functional. There's functional when there's like title and functional title. Hmm. I have a field, Salesforce, functional title. Functional title. title. <laughs> nickname, sub-nickname, proper name, proper case spelling. DBA. Sa uh, this name sounds like. It's an awesome <laughs> one. Uh, okay, so. Third address geocode. I, uh, here's a little inner secret to my world, uh, which I think I passed on to all of the people in my family, which is when I can't sleep, when I like wake up, sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and then my brain just starts to churn and I'm like, all right, all right, settle down, listen to some podcasts. And generally podcasts put me right to sleep, <laughs> right? Not my own content, but generally like- So what you're saying is you don't listen to your own podcast. I do occasionally, um, but sometimes I'll put on, and generally I put on fantasy, fantasy football. Right. That puts you right to bed. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, you know, Ezekiel is a 2.2 PPR, and he might be out for three. What's <laughs> funny is that <laughs> you play fantasy football. You yes. really enjoy. Yes. I, I would go so far. I wouldn't say love fantasy football, but you really, truly 
embrace and enjoy fantasy football. I do. It's odd that you choose a topic that you are, and, and I think where you're going, because what you did, you chose another topic that you're truly so into. Right. Why would you pick a thing that you're so into to put you to sleep? Because it's about Why the- not pick some, like... Some random no. podcast, some NPR thing that's just a droney voice that's just going to talk about stuff. Because it's comfort. If I listen oh, to something it's new... It's like a big hug. It's like a, wo- it's like a, a big woo-boo. cuddle. It's like a woo-boo. Oh, a woo-boo. It's so cute. I listen to things that I recognize their voices. <laughs> so if I listen to new stuff, like I'll be paying attention to it. But if I listen to... like I've listened to... Or there's a couple podcasts I've listened to hundreds of. And so I hear the voices and it's like... And the content's okay, it's fine, but they discuss the same content every week. It's not new content. That's the problem with this one. I went to go put on, and sometimes I used to put on like audiobooks I've already read, because again, it's like not new content. So I put on, there just happened to be a new GTD podcast from David Allen. It's his thing, I don't know, podcast. He's really recording stuff and just releasing it. And it's kind of turning into a little bit of an ad for, for GTD Connect, but whatevs. What is uh, GTD Connect? So GTD Connect is there. It's their success community, but you pay. I guess you pay for success community, too. Probably yeah, less. you don't. You have to have a license. You have to have a developer org. Yeah. Okay, fine. So you could jump in with your developer org. But of Which the is 90, free. 000, Trailhead yeah. is free. Success community is free. Ish. Free. Salesforce isn't free. Developer orgs are free. Salesforce isn't free. If you want to use it, yes. it's not free. Right. But if you want to be a member of the community, you can do so for right. free. So it's the same thing. It's it's a walled content garden, and they have and it's it's not cheap. I've always thought about joining it, and I don't mind paying for subscription stuff. I'm not great into paying for content. I don't mind paying for function. Like, well, you pay for content. Like what? Your oh, cable Apple. television. Yes. yes. Your Netflix. Your Hulu. True. Used by three people in my family. Of course. Right. But Has, you you pay for it. Yeah. All, Hulu plus Netflix plus. What else do I pay for? I don't know, something else? I'm sure you pay for other things. Yeah, but even Amazon Prime is $99 Prime. a year. GT Connect's like $43 a month. Is it a Salesforce community? <laughs> no. Is that why it's $43 a month? should be. <laughs> uh, but anyway, they do these interviews and stuff, and you know because I've given you some of the tapes, or the, uh, not tapes, the yes, CDs. Yes, the tapes before. that I play in my Walkman yeah. as I go to work. I just got rid of my, my DVD player, by the way. Like, my my DVD player. Oh, yeah? Got rid of it. We don't have a D... Oh, uh, wait. Yeah. Oh, we have please. a Blu-ray player. Oh, I have a Blu-ray player in a PS4. We have a Blu-ray player, but I think we also, if I were to go look over there, yes. we're in the studio where I have all my equipment, of course. I think there's a DVD and VHS, like a combo deal yeah, that baby. I'm pretty certain is going to go in the garbage. Right. Got to ask well, the little... don't do that. Got to ask the little lady this about Saturday, it. This Saturday in Queens, they're doing a technology recycling where you really? can bring your... Yep. Oh, I got tons of stuff for that. Yeah. Where is yes. it? It's going to happen. It's up in Astoria Park. I'm going. So if you want to just oh, give me a yeah. box of stuff, I'll take I it. I will do that because I will have tons of stuff. Anywho, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, oh, let me just put on GT Podcast. And it turned out to be this one called the better you get. And it was just a re-thing of a long conversation between these two, they are consultants, or GTD consultants, who work for the David Allen Company, Meg Edwards and Kelly Forrester. And we know them because they've been on these other, like, longer series. Like, there's a, they do that whole week review one, like 10, 15 hours worth of content. So, of course, what happened was, instead of going to sleep, I was fascinated. And I was, like, listening, and like, listening, and listening. And then, so they did this thing called, you know, they talked about these hidden project categories. So you're talking about GTD projects and whatever. And I listen, but as I'm sitting there listening, I'm like, yeah, but what about this one? What about this one? What about this one? And so I wrote this blog post. So it's called the Four More Hidden GTD Project Categories, which does make my second blog post in a row about GTD, which you're getting a theory there, or you're seeing some growth or the butterfly, whatever. So anyway, I brought up four more. We don't really have to go over them. Because uh, it is out there in the world. But if you want to go read it, go to blog.arcasync.com. Right on. And you, you know, just to, I know you want people to go read, but can we yes. just tease just tease one of these? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, I don't really want them to read it. I don't really care. Yeah, I mean, I, I do. Well, yeah, don't read it. Just go to it. Click right. on it. Just download it. I do um, three out of the four of these. But I don't do one of them. Which is the one you don't build? Do that'd be more fun. Habit builder. Oh. I don't do that one. And I know that you do it. Yep. 
and I know that the partner that will remain nameless nameless does as he this always is yeah. and hasn't been doing it. Should we just start doing genderless as well? The partner should be genderless. Well, he is. Wow. <laughs> no, nope. it is. Yep. Darn it. I already All right, keep it. going. We'll we'll get to Astro later. <sighs> um, you can have that conversation by yourself. So the habit building thing, I've never been a fan of just being like. Like, there are things I do every day at work. Right. And I know I need to do them, and I don't have them in on me focus because I just know I need to do them. Right. And there's things I do in my personal life, like brush my teeth, that I don't really, like, need to tell myself I need to brush my teeth. Right. And then there's these habit builders that I don't... Yeah, I don't... You, you mentioned your example, your daily health project every day that reminds you to do things like drink water. I'll drink and stretch. Yep. And do you stretch? Has it built that habit? It, so that's sort of the interesting thing about it. It's become like that one is become a little blind. It's become project blind. That's why I don't do it. But that's but I feel like after a while it's like check right check. But Ooh, that was there, fun. Six things just but disappeared. There are, but there are things that I do every day, and it is a way to keep some things in my consciousness, and so. If I'm at the gym and I go to the gym and then I'm right, oh, well, I spent five minutes stretching because I had that thing that kind of is constantly reminding but me. But why do, do you it. need to be at the gym to stretch? Like is context gym? No. You could be anywhere to stretch. You, you have can. a standing desk. You could be stretching while you're standing there. Certain types of stretches, other types of stretches. You should lie down on a mat with a, with a you know, a, a rope or do whatever. You have multiple stretches? I'm just trying to go how, how far does how deep does this it, go? It's, well, I because I've never it, done it. I started it as a way to start a habit, and certain of those habits are really good. Then I've changed it up, and I can tell you right now in my life, it is a little bit of a just a checkbox every day. But since there are certain things in there I do do, like it's probably the worst example. But like I do exercise every day, and I feel good when I check off my daily health thing because I'm like, okay, yeah, I did that. No, I don't do everything in it, but the better example I think is really the is the flossing the teeth thing. Like that's not regular; it's irregular enough that I want to make sure. And that one, I actually like it. It gets me. It's like okay, go f- 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 go stop do- what you're doing and go floss your teeth. Well, I'll just do it when I take a shower or something. I'll do it after shower, and then I will. But it feels good to check it off and to say like I did it. And if it's something that is not regular, it creates, it does create a, a pattern. And eventually you should be able to give it up, right? Or change it. That's where I would say to most people, if, if right. a project isn't really, isn't moving you or you're avoiding it or you're just checking off, then change it. Change the frequency, change the name of it, put something else in it, take out the stuff you don't do, put in something else, change out one of the things and make it an actual project that repeats, something like that. Um, but for a lot of people, you know, yes, there are things I need to do every day that are work things, and yes, I have them in there as repeating things, but there's also the, there are times at the end of my day when I go look at my next day, it'll remind me, like, oh, right, let me go do that now, and I get to check it off today. So I say, oh, I did that work thing today, and that is a great, that's, that feels good. Like, oh, I went ahead, I saw something I'm supposed to do every morning, I went and did it tonight, and I did it thoroughly, and I'm checking it off, so I'm checking it off in advance. And again, there's a psychology to this that people like to mark things done. It makes you feel good. It makes right. you, it, 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 it has that endorphin of like, oh, look, oh, I, I got something done. So, you know, they're all just kind of mind tricks. This is one of the ones that I use, but. Great. Anyway. Anyway. All right, so you go read that. So we weren't gonna talk about it, but we did. All right, what's this on the, on the agenda? Justin Cheats. <clears throat> uh, what? What now? Yeah. Second time, too. First time. No. Oh, second time. Second time. That's true. I mean, I've cheated once. Yeah, you You've know cheated what? on me twice. I was um, emailing back and forth with a, with a friend and a colleague, in a way, a business colleague. Okay. And being someone I've known. Sketchy. I'm not being sketchy. Someone I've known for sketchy. a very long time through the MVP community and... Uh, Part of the Ohana and all, you know? So now um, you're going to go neg on that <laughs> again? <laughs> oh, so funny. Um, and, yeah, so there's 
there's a a podcast that uh, Jared had asked me to join him and Nick on, uh, and I decided to uh, to give it a shot. So Jared Miller, and Nick Ham, who are at 10K Advisors, have a podcast called 10K Launch. And I had mentioned to Jared, I don't know where or when or how, that I was an accidental admin and that's how I got my start in Salesforce. It was, there was a project that someone asked for us to do, you and I, you being my boss at the time. Yes, and prepared for the story. Yep, and you went to a Salesforce event here in New York City. And not like, a world tour. It was not a world tour. It was like two or 300 people in a hotel or yep. something. And you went and you had called me from the event and basically said, I just saw the coolest thing. This guy was up on the stage. He built a field in a database. Why don't you call out that person? He's a real person. He Patrick still works, Fisher. Still works at Salesforce. Still works there. I, I wasn't sure if it was him or someone else, but I it guess was. it was Patrick. It was Pat so Fisher. Patrick was up on the stage. He built a field in a database, put it into the user interface, then put it on a form that was on the web, submitted the form, and it went right into the field. Like, he did it all on the stage, like, live. Right. And it was incredible, and there was an interface and everything. You could use the database. It, you didn't have to, like, design anything. It was just drag and drop and move things around. And he did it without didn't any have to code have a UI or anything. designer, a DB admin, right. and, like, all the stuff didn't that he used to talk about. Didn't need this entire right. stack of any technology. It was all there, and you didn't need all these people to design all these things. And I remember very vividly on the call, I said that project that we were just assigned, can we do it with this Salesforce thing? Right. And you were like, yeah, I think we can. And you were like, the rep just introduced himself to me. Yes. Let, let me go back and see if he could come into the office in a week or whatever. And that was it. That welcome was the start the of it. Welcome to the company that should not be named. Welcome in. Yeah, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Earn, and, earn some money. And that was the start of... I mean, they came in a week later. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't follow me back to the office. Right? Like, didn't just like, just, hop, let, I'll Let's get go you now. a tab. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, but came in, heard us out, heard what we were trying to do. We, in the very traditional sense, we already had a BRD written out, a business requirements document. Where's your BRD? Right. So how many pages? They took it. The they template. probably threw it away. They probably shredded it. And we're like, what are you trying to do? We told them. And like two days later, I remember hopping on a WebEx with them, and it was like, oh my, there it is. Right. And that was it. And by we, the way, they used uh, email to case or it was web to case. Web to case. Right. Which to us for, at the time was like, it was magic. Magic. And it was for a suggestion box application that we were being asked to build in a very traditional way with a right. database back end, oh, yeah. design a front end, and have some workflow type of things which no one could imagine what that would even be right um so we designed in our brd it was like super simple like a database of people they're gonna because it was all done in an email inbox and somebody was taking these emails and copying and pasting them into excel and then mailing this excel spreadsheet around to like 30 people for people to work Sorting on stuff and Anyway, that was the start, and I told more of the story. So if you want to go listen to that and other little tidbits from me, you can find it. It's episode five of a podcast called 10K Launch. And they were asking me a lot, actually, about, you know, beyond just the start in Salesforce, they were asking me a lot about starting Arcus and what that was, how that went and what that was like and any advice to give and I left Don't. all the good tidbits for their podcast, and I left what? all the all the nonsense for this podcast. All your angriness and your bad moods are yeah. podcast. Yeah, speaking of angriness and bad, move, bad moods, why don't we move on First to this all, next topic? No segooing me. I just I segoo, segoo you. you. So Winter 18, you have a favorite feature. You didn't read the release notes, but you have a favorite feature. So I found this noticed, or this came out as a thing, that apparently now Astro is going to make its way into the icons, the seasonal release icons. Astro is going to make its way in there, and we're not going to have polar bears and and skis, it, skis and whatever. Rainbows. It's going to be Astro dressed as some other polar bear or some yeti or something else with skis, 
and I think it's stupid. Still think it's stupid. Does this go on your whole thing of Astro being the chatter icon if you don't put your photo on there too? Yes. Because that also exists. Yes. So the Astroization of, of Salesforce, again, let me be clear, I love the character of Astro. I think the actual character is quite cute. I think my, I was wearing a shirt the other day. I even posted it into our Slack channel where I had, I have no problem with the character. Zero. Or any of the characters. I mean, the server bear, why he's in there eating my servers, I mean, you know, a little upset about the server bear. Server but, bear is a, just an animal. <laughs> server bear. It's just an animal. Well, he also puts on a vest, so he's not that much of an animal. First he eats the servers, then he puts on a vest, and then he has a guitar. Anyway, not the characters I think are funny, they're cute, they're like, I get it. I just want them to stay out of the software. I want them to create a nice little line in the sand or in or on the planet and say marketing, trailhead, help, you know, Dreamforce, Trail of DX, all that stuff, go bananas. Astro out the whole thing. I don't care. That's great. That's awesome. That's where it should be. Inside the software, after I log in, I'll even let you have the login screen. After I log into software, I want zero Astro. I want zero Astro in my, I don't want it in the setup. I don't want it in the icon. I don't want it in the uh, people. Cause I think it's just, there's a, it's a slippery slope and they're already falling down it. So it's just, they're falling down their own slippery slope. I want them out of the software. I did post an idea on this. It's called, I think, keep Astro out of my software <laughs> on the idea exchange. It's getting a lot of both positive and negative votes, which is fine. It's more of just a conversation. I'm not, you know, I just really think that, that there should be a line and I, I'd like them to keep it out of the software. Marketing materials, awesome. In software, as part of our releases, no. I don't want to read in the release. Oh, and we've put a new spinner that has Astro's face going around. And icon, the, the opportunity icon is now Astro. Yeah, I mean, sassy and chatty and they never made it they into never the made software. It in. Keep them out. I mean, they did, kind of. Not really. I mean, it's like the notification banner. It's like sometimes you guys go, just stop, stop. Yeah. Like the notification banner that they never did anything with. They did. They changed it, but you don't know because we turned it off. Oh, okay, good. They actually put new stuff up there? Yeah, they do. Oh, okay, great. I actually saw it recently, and it was different. Oh, I saw it the same banner I've seen for three years. Yeah, but that's if you haven't done that thing, whatever's uh, in that banner. Because then Discover it'll go to, like, go to do some other okay. thing. So like, uh, try Salesforce Files Connect or whatever. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I just, again, I, I know people tweeting at me saying, you don't like Astro. Someone even tweeted at me that I should, that I don't like the artist. I'm like, no, the artist it has is nothing great. to do with the artist. It has nothing, it has to, nothing do to do with it the is, message. It has nothing to do with no, the message. Just is great. Keep it's, it out of the enterprise software, Just please. keep it out of the software. It just doesn't really belong there. My personal opinion. Sorry. All right, let's move on. Things that do belong there. Let's Picks do of the it. Week. Picks of the week. True to form. I will pick something that was suggested to me that you didn't use that I've never ever. tried, but I have downloaded. So that counts, right? That's like downloading this episode and not listening to it. Yeah, yeah, it does. All right. Anyway, so I was at a baseball game last week, okay. as were you, and I was talking to a pal, and you know, like these different categories of people. It's like that person is like pal, is, well, peer. This is actually a client, but I, I'm considering him a pal. So okay. Whenever we're together, we, we tend to talk about soccer because there's not too many, although there's a growing contingency, there's not too many American soccer fans. And he and I, you know, there was a, this past weekend was a big World Cup qualifier weekend and we were chatting no, about what... No, I don't know. I, I didn't say you would. You said, you said you know. You well, said you, you know there's a big thing. I said, no, I don't. You know. don't know anything. No, so I'm not about that. we're talking about it, like, who Great. we thought would start, whatever, da, da, da. And awesome. I was like, you know, he was talking about if he, if he wants to go out and watch one of these matches, they're big matches, you know, they're World Cup qualifier matches. Right. But if there's anything else sports-related on TV... It just doesn't get there. Yeah, unless it's the World Cup, soccer's not on television. Unless it's the weekend and it's the morning and nothing else is on TV. So he was like, yeah, if I go out to a bar, he's from Boston, usually like the Red Sox are on TV on all the TVs and they're on the speakers, except for one TV might, if you ask him in the corner, put the soccer match on. And he was telling me about this app called Tunity, T-U-N-I-T-Y. 
where it's free and it's from a company called audio stream tv inc okay and it's for your iphone or your android phone and he was telling me how it works essentially if there's a tv that is on yeah you just point your phone at it when the apps open and it scans it and it can see and recognize what is on the television okay and you can then listen through the app because it'll tune in to the, what's on television. Anything? Anything, he was Anything, telling well, me. Well, not... Anything not it any can streaming. have access to. Right. But I was like, really? Like, you go to bars and you use this thing like this? Like, there'll be a Red Sox game and they'll be blasting that on or maybe music will be playing in the bar and you'll point your phone at a television for like a New England Revolution MLS match. Love and, the revolution. And then you can just listen to that. And he's like, is absolutely that, 100%. Is that the one with Prince? No. Huh. I was like, he, he said, absolutely 100%. Do it all the time with friends. Well, they'll be sitting there and like they'll either have headphones on and they'll be sitting around one phone that'll just be blasting <laughs> that uh, sound. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. I'm going to download it and try it. Just haven't had the chance to try it. I could have done it in my own house, but... That seems stupid. Uh, I wonder how it works with things that are recorded. So, like, you record a game, yeah. and then you shoot it at it's going to be like, I think it's trying to pick up off the net. It's trying to figure out the real tune, like yeah. the real stuff that's playing. I, I mean, it's it's meant for, you know, this... Ex- I think it's for this exact use case. I mean, in their description, you can tune in wherever you go. It's free. allows you to hear any muted live tv's audio directly on your mobile device simply scan the tv let it locate the channel and it'll stream the audio through your headphones or bluetooth speaker so that's i didn't get the other use case on that i'm in a bar they have it playing but it's muted and the other tvs are on or the music's that's a better use case okay that's what i said oh i I thought that's more you just weren't listening to me at all because it was exactly what i described (laughs) All right. All right, you caught I'm me. I'm done listening to you. You caught me. Well, you do it all the time. At the end, don't don't make me turn I'm on I'm about to not listening to you right I now. Not. I am done. Right. Thank right. you. I have to make a phone call. You're so angry. It's so angry. Today. I have to make a phone call. So wrap your stuff up so I can make this phone call. Go on. <laughs> do your thing. Go. I'm sorry. I actually went into our Yeah, I don't care. Just go. And try to get some bloggers to do winter 18 I stuff. I don't care what you were doing. Just do oh, your so do angry. this and go. So Come on. Angry. Move Everybody it along. Tweet at him. At just LC, don't move be angry. it along. Hashtag don't be angry. Move it along. Hashtag remove the emotion. Let's go. Uh, all right, my make went quick. I feel like I might have picked this before, but if I didn't, it's got an update, which is really cool. So free app on GitHub, Douglas Ayers. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Zero dollars. It solves a specific need when you merge accounts in Salesforce under the current merge. Files from the non-master don't get reassociated that's the use case it seems like a small one until you do a bunch of merges and you realize you just lost the association for the again the non-master so if you have two accounts they both have files you have to pick one master the master one gets the files the other one those files get disassociated and they just end up in the nowhere's van, nowhere's land this app it's called convert attachments to salesforce files that's it it's free it's on the what Git. does this have to do with merging though because files will merge and attachments don't? No. So the file association gets lost on the second file. So I have two accounts, account A, B, account a and B. But is that really what this is for? Because yes. I know what you're talking about here. Isn't this to take, hey, legacy attachments, stop using them and start using files? No. This Isn't is... that really what this is for? Well, this trigger works for that use case, my use case. And the one there's a ideas change on the idea and that's how i learned about it but he added some new features to it the other day so that's why i'm but again isn't the idea here that that you would that you want to move from attachments to files because that's a migration and he's made it easy i thought that's the whole point of this app not like convert some stuff and maybe lose some association of a file I mean, you may be using it for something that's yeah, not intended to be used Yeah, I might have been using it for, for something that's not supposed to be used for. Okay. All right, so you're zero for two. <laughs> Let's <laughs> move on. Let's end this. I like when you're wrong. It's uh, fun. Oh, you put it up. Well, it's only it's, uh, September. You got one. There you go. Put there it, it is. All. all right. Put follow, it on the board. Follow Mr. Wright, Just Elstein. Follow at Jason Matwood. Follow Arcus Inc. He's going to make a phone call. Facebook.com slash Arcus Inc. Success Community Power Bus Group. 
LinkedIn, Google Plus, subscribe in iTunes, Stitcher, Google, tune in. Yeah, we're in tune in. And until next week or the week after that or the week after that is Justin Jason saying enjoy those cloudy days. I'm always right. Bye.